The criteria for entries to the competition involve subjects influenced by Robert Burns and his work. And poetry judge Paul Vert says there is an extremely wide range of topics, considering Burns's work hailed from the Romantic era, but there were also links back to a contemporary context as well. We had everything from Scottish nationalism to immigration to Dunedin um, to the Otago Association, um, but then also we had Robert Burns on another planet. Um, we also had alternative histories like what happens if, if Robert Burns had gone to Jamaica and lived there and got involved in a slave revolt and um, ended up in a prison in Jamaica. And, and um, So it was, it was a really, um, really broad cross-section. Co-judge David Howard says he was looking for entries which woke him up and took him out of his comfort zone to somewhere marvellous. And he says the winners achieved that. He was particularly impressed with the work of the first place getter for the young poet category. Joseph's work for a 15-year-old is an extraordinary achievement. And I think the energy that he demonstrates in reading it, the kind of dark humour that he brings through, is timeless. 15-year-old Joseph Corbett's winning poem, The Flower Pups of Clan Thistle, was about his pet terrier's litter of puppies. And he says the competition was a way of test driving the idea of perhaps becoming a writer one day. In terms of careers or something like that, I was just kind of looking at seeing how it goes, because I'm originally thinking of pursuing something maybe at the um, Portobello Marine Study Centre. But yeah, writing's a strong point of mine, so that might be a pet project of mine or something. And with 50 submissions this year, increasing total entries by a third on last year, the competition is steadily growing in popularity. Devi Narona, Nine Local News.